Hey guys, it's Sabrina, and I am currently standing in my new New Orleans apartment. Hey guys, it's present day Sabrina. Um, I did want to put a quick disclaimer in here that this video is filmed in September of 2021, and I no longer even live in Louisiana. So, um, do with that information what you will. I'm finally getting around to editing videos, and I thought this one was good, so... I'm still gonna post it. Bye. I have unpacked some stuff without filming it, but I have not unpacked my makeup yet. And this is, I just had week two in my apartment. So it's been a bit of a struggle and I'm finally going to videotape me unpacking my makeup. So <laughs> this is what we're currently working with. Um, Every morning I've been sitting over here and um, using the sunlight to do my makeup and I'm over it. So first thing is I'm gonna move this box of all these things and I'm gonna move my desk here so it's facing the sunlight. Should I put it here or here? Okay, so there's an outlet on this wall right here. And my desk plugs in because this pops up and there's an outlet in here. So here is where it shall sit. I'm plugging in the cord. All right. Also, please ignore my shorts. I didn't think about the part where you'd probably see them. Okay, so now I think I'll start with pulling out my eyeshadow palettes because uh, I bought this at TJ Maxx for Home Goods two years ago. And I like to store all my palettes in here because it fits the bigger palettes and then it also fits my mini palettes in here. I don't, it doesn't usually fit all of them because like face palettes, they don't usually fit in here with eyeshadow. And this was from TJ Maxx also, very cute. Uh, and it stores my makeup brushes. So now this is what it looks like now that it is all moved. I'm gonna go with one box at a time. So this is lip gloss, put that aside. We have a palette. This is the Too Faced Chocolate Bar palette, the original one. Very old, but I love it and I still use it. Um, I really love this shade here. Let me see if there's, uh, we'll never know the name though. Uh, but the brown shimmers in here are really nice. All right, here's one brush. So this is one of my favorite palettes. It's the Urban Decay Born to Run palette. And it has like a ton of colors in here. Lots of fun looks you could do in the one palette. Next, I have another Too Faced palette. This is the Gingerbread Spice palette. This is my Midnight Masquerade palette by ColourPop. I just got this more recently over the summer and I really like it so far. It's got more jewel tones, which is really nice. This is another ColourPop palette. It's the Lemoncello palette. I was wearing this a lot over the summer. Lots of beautiful shimmers. I really like using these two yellows as a statement, kind of like a monochromatic eye look. Um, I've used this as an eyeliner before. You just wet your eyeliner brush and you got an eyeliner. Very pretty. Okay, so this palette is one of the bigger palettes. As you can see, it's pretty thick, unfortunately, but I love it because it is a Mean Girls palette done by Storybook Cosmetics. It's the Burn Book palette, and 
They have been having tons of sales recently, so if you're interested, I would check it out. Um, but some fun shades in here, and there is a mirror on the other side. The shimmers in here are nice, um, but I feel like I haven't actually played with this too much, so I should do that. But because it is so big, I am not going to put it in the storage container. I'm going to put it right next to it. The controversial palette of what even year was that? I don't know. It's at least been four years that I've had this. So it was probably like five years ago, the debacle of the Anastasia subculture palette. Um, here we are. Lots of jewel tones, which are actually great for this fall. And I always love this shade. It's electric. <laughs> it's called electric and it's like brown, but also has a green shift. Um, really, really pretty. And then Adorn is also really pretty for shimmers. And we have another Anastasia palette. This is the Modern Renaissance, the one we all know and love. Ah, oh, there's a makeup brush in there. What do you know? Um, all these colors are beautiful. I, of course, like Vermeer and Primavera a lot, but Warm Taupe is also pretty. And Raw Sienna, Golden Ochre. I have used that one quite a bit. Ugh, I just use all of them. They're beautiful. I also have Tartlet Little Bloom, well, Lil Bloom, and it's all just neutral browns, a good everyday palette if you're looking for one, pretty user-friendly. Love this palette, it's by Colourpop, it's the Lizzie McGuire palette, and it's called What Dreams Are Made Of very beautiful shades definitely lizzie mcguire you can get that vibe from the greens and purples uh all the shimmers are really nice i've done a monochromatic look with these and lots of compliments when i did that um there's like a nice lavender shade up here really like this one. Oh my gosh who remembers the Lorac palettes I also have the other Lorac Pro. This one's the cooler toned version. This is a palette for the show Friends. I don't even know what the brand is, but my BFF Charlene got this for me. Um, very fun shades, but I don't really use it just because I really just like the packaging and um, yeah. Okay, so you might recognize this one. It is the Mandalorian palette by Colourpop. Okay, it's actually called Mandalorian the Child. I got it because mainly I'm obsessed with Baby Yoda. Um, but the shades are really pretty, except <clears throat> this one was like kind of a pressed glitter and it fell out once, I was able to smush it back in, but then it fell out again and there was really no saving it. So it was a really pretty shade, but oh well. I also have another ColourPop palette. This is called Be Poppy and it doesn't have a mirror like the others do. All oranges, pretty much. This is technically another ColourPop palette. So this is like one of those magnetic palettes where you put all your single shadows, but I have other ones in here that aren't just ColourPop. The top ones, I was really into purple eyeshadows for a minute because I do have green eyes, so I was trying to collect some good ones, but now that I have all those, I don't reach for these very often. All right, so I found more palettes in the other boxes. Morphe palette, this is just the blush palette. Looks like 8W is this one. I love this blush palette. These three shades are like shimmery blushes and then these are all matte and it's nice to layer them. They are very pigmented so you have to go in with a light hand but beautiful colors. Okay here's my last face palette. It's called the blush bar and I know Benefit's doing 
a bunch of these where it's like cheek leader or something, but I got mine when it was called the Blush Bar. So it comes with California, the Hula Bronzer, Rockateur, Gold Rush, and Dandelion. I also have the Natasha Denona Mini Gold Palette. Really pretty colors in here. I love this middle shade. This shade is also really pretty. It's called Lodge. And then continuing the Natasha Denona Mini Palettes. This is the Mini Star. Love this palette. I think I would rather have this one over that one if you have to decide, but I really like the minis because they are a fraction of the price as the other ones and you still get to experience a little Natasha Denona. And then I have one more mini Natasha Denona. This was gifted to me actually by Tallahassee Symphony Orchestra staff. So love that. And this is called the Mini Love Palette. This is the Urban Decay Basics Palette. And I know they have a Basics Palette, but it is not the same as this one. So um, I used to fill in my eyebrows with this shade actually back in high school. So that is why that's so heavily used. This one's great when doing like a shadow eyeliner. And that should be all of my palettes unless I find more on my bed. So now I need to reorganize this to look better. All right, so this is all my palettes. Um, I was able to switch the Mean Girls one all the way over here so that I could save as much space as possible. This is hanging off a bit, but it's fine. Now I need to go through all of this and find all my makeup brushes. Wish me luck. This is by Jamie Bird, a friend of mine, and you should all buy this. It's called I Won't Give You Daffodils. Okay, I'm gonna look for some makeup brushes in this box specifically. Now I'm gonna move my travel makeup bag into this box so I can really sort out makeup brushes. All right, one more box. Well, it's like a lid to a box. Don't judge how dirty they are because I need to clean them today. All right, so we are... We're back at the desk. So what I've done in the past with these was lipstick in one, lip gloss in one, mascara in one, face products in one, so like foundations, primers in one. No, one of them holds eyeshadows. All my lip gloss should be in here, but I know there's a few stragglers in that box. I'm gonna point out my favorites. This is called the Always On Liquid Lipstick in the color Out Loud. It's one of my favorites for fall. Ooh, I just got this one over the summer. This is by Merit. It was actually on sale, which is why I got it, but uh, it's called Pink Beat. It's like a lip oil, like a tinted lip oil. Really pretty. Of course, I have to mention the Fenty Beauty. I think this is hot chocolate. Yeah, hot chocolate lip gloss. This is my Agave Plus Intensive Lip Mask by Bite. I love this at night. Smells great compared to the actual like tube of chapstick. Ugh, that so I love that formula, but the scent actually makes me nauseous, but this one actually smells good. So here's the Agave Plus Chapstick by Bite I was telling you about. This one's like an actual chapstick. Oh, <laughs> the smell is so terrible. Why did you do that, Bite? Why? Oh my God, I love these. I think they just recently like rebranded them because no one talks about them, but um, if you just search Black Honey on Sephora, this Clinique Chapstick, it's like a tinted lip balm. Well, pop up. I'm just going to put it on. It's like just the right amount of color so that your lips don't look bare, but you're not trying too hard. I have like five of these because I'm afraid they're going to discontinue it. Hitchhike by Urban Decay. This is a comfort matte. 
one of my favorites as well. This is really pretty. Um, it's by NARS and I, <clears throat> I, I think I actually bought it because I was obsessed with the packaging. Um, and it's my first NARS lipstick, just got it last year and it's called Mathilde. It's in the Audacious Sheer Matte Lipstick line. It's like a peach, like a nude peach. And I'm obsessed with the closure. Wait, ready? It's like magnetic. Love it. Obsessed. And that's all my lipstick and lip gloss. And they fit perfectly in my containers. So I'm gonna pop that in the drawer. I'm gonna pull out all my mascaras, put them on there. That should be all of my mascara um, favorites. CoverGirl Exhibitionist Mascara is my favorite mascara. Definitely recommend it. Tarte C Surfer Curl. Love this one, and I actually think I'll be buying the full size. It's great for more of a natural lash. Um, you can you can tell you're wearing mascara, but it's not like it's not like overkill, like you could wear this like going to get groceries and not go on full glam kind of thing. All right, and that's all of my mascara and lashes. My favorite liquid liner, I used to use the Kat Von D, which is now like rebranded. Um, but this is the Stila Stay All Day Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner. That's what I use. But this one's really pretty. It's the uh, Urban Decay 24-7 Glide on Eye Pencil in Lucky. It's like a copper shade. This is the uh, primer I use when doing eyeshadow. This is called the, oh, I have like half of it shaved off. It's the Urban Decay Climate Ozone Multi-Purpose Primer Pencil. I'm assuming that's what it's called because all I can see is it's like Mate Ozone Pose Primer Pencil. Here is my favorite everyday eyeshadow, and it's like $2, okay? This is Maple Pecan Ulta Bouncy Cream Eyeshadow. It's shimmery, but not sparkly. Um, gives your eyelids kind of a wet look. Just enough color to define them beautiful. Just so you can see what's going on right now, I put my eyeliners and pencil sort of shadows in there. Um, my two Super Shocks are under here, ColourPop Super Shocks, and then my go-to everyday shadow. I have the Natasha Denona Chromium shadow right there, and then I have three it's like a mini trio that Sephora does over the holidays of the Hourglass Scattered Light pellets. And then also what we're working with is these three that are full. So gloss, lipstick, mascara. All right, I think I'm gonna try and put face things in one, but I might have to spread it out between two. For someone that doesn't wear highlighter usually, I have an awful lot of them. This one's pretty bulky, Fenty. Metal Moon. I don't use this. I don't know why I bought it. I think I was just excited to get a highlighter. Oh, it doesn't even fit on my Tarte Stunner Amazonian Clay Highlight. Found pretty good use out of this guy. Benefit Cookie Highlight, of course. It's like a peachy pink. Uh, three more Becca highlighters. R.A.P. Becca. This is the Shimmering Skin Perfector Pressed. An Opal by Becca. It's like the mini. And then this is the poured version of that. Kind of gross. The thing is actually broken, but they don't even sell this anymore. All right, then bronzers. I, this is my Holy Grail bronzer. It is the Park Avenue Princess by Tarte. And I like the shimmery one, which is uncommon, but here we are. That's what I like. Auntie, why do you hate me? I can't close it because of your stupid packaging. I guess I take them out. All right, is that close? Of course it closes without them. Of course it does. All right, I'm going to put my foundations and concealer in one. Let's see how that goes. 
Um, I just got this the other day. It's the Amazonian Clay 16 hour full coverage foundation. Did I already say it's by Tarte? And it's 12S and I got it because I feel like these two aren't really my shade. I mean, look how different those are. Like, am I okay? I can't figure out my foundation shape. So here we are. It is full coverage, which is something I was looking for. I feel like it matches the Armani one best, but like clearly it's not the same shade as either of those. And I've been wearing these and I feel like everyone's probably like, oh my God, she doesn't have the right foundation shade. Sissa Pear Tiger Grass Color Correcting Treatment. Good by itself. Don't put under your foundation because it makes your foundation break up because it is oil based, your foundation is not. And then if you go in with a beauty blender, oil and water does not mix. So it definitely separates. So sorry, everyone. This is my favorite primer. It's by Becca. It's the backlight priming filter, but as I said before, RIP. Perfect. Okay. Love this Hourglass Ambient Lighting Palette. I'm thinking about getting their holiday collection. I'm debating on if I want to put my cheek palettes in here because I have the space. And then it's not like cluttering up in here. So I'm gonna do it. I ran out of my Urban Decay All Nighter setting spray while I was in New York and was waiting to fill it until I moved. So, yay. I feel like this is better than my last setup. I apologize for making you look at me from that angle for so long, but gotta do what you gotta do. All right, guys, here we are. Here are my makeup brushes, which of course need to be washed. And then I have all of my eyeshadows and eyeliners all of them, which I used to have them in a drawer, but they're all here. Oh my God, I'm so excited about that. Then I have my priming sprays or just facial mists and then setting spray. And we open this left drawer. This is mainly all my makeup, primers and eyebrows, which is smart of me to do because I always do my eyebrows first. And then Concealers, foundations, mascaras, and lashes. So I put that in front of it. Lipsticks and chapsticks, lip glosses. Here's my uh, restock ready for when I run out of my eyebrow gel. And then my Sephora samples here. Pencil, sharpener, makeup sponges. Please don't judge me. I know I have to wash them. Then... How beautiful. Fenty, Fenty, uh, Maybelline Fit Me, Hourglass, two other powders, then highlighters, bronzers, so that they are all in one drawer. Blush palette, Benefit blush palette, highlighter palette. That's it, that's done. Oh my gosh. You guys have absolutely no idea how excited I am that that is finally done. I have been so disorganized every single morning for the past two weeks trying to do my makeup and like finding things it's crazy but now i have to deal with this also i am not realizing i don't have a chair well i hope you guys enjoyed this journey of me organizing all of my makeup and i'm sorry i didn't film much more unpacking Thank you guys for watching and follow me for more. Bye.